Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 augment build video and today I want to go over how to farm all three currencies with one build and more importantly get over 250,000 gold over 20,000 souls and over 100 hearts in a single match yes you heard me right all three currencies one single match however before I get into the video I would recommend it the video in the upper right hand corner of your screen if you want to farm over 200 hearts in a single minute but if you want to farm all three currencies make sure to stick around until the end of the video as i will go over why i use johnny what augments i use and the best way to use and utilize this build so let's go ahead and hop right into the video like you should hop onto that subscribe button and farm some good content every day right so first i want to go over the augments the first two augments I use work really well together. These augments would include Pure and Simple and Smoke and Mirrors. The reason why these augments work so well together is due to the Pure and Simple makes your crushing blows have no requirements and Smoke and Mirrors lets you perform your crushing blows infinitely. Like, so you'll be able to perform them without limit. So no requirements and no limit to your crushing blows with these two augments equipped. However, your crushing blows de do deal absolutely no damage which sounds like a bad thing at first however it actually is a very very good thing the reason why it's a good thing is if you're trying to farm your crushing blows but your crushing blows deal damage you'll end up killing your opponent way too early and obviously you don't want to do that as you kind of want to wait out the timer while performing your crushing blows and i know you're wondering okay xp why the heck do we need crushing blows and the reason why is because we have a level 4 spirit collector which we are earn 40 souls for each crushing blow we perform and since we're performing like hundreds of crushing blows super super fast we'll be able to get thousands of souls like in my gameplay i just got over 20,000 souls without even really knowing how to use johnny the second reason we you we we are utilizing crushing blows is for the gold farm, which is also one of the main reasons why we use Johnny Cage. So Johnny Cage has a chintzy augment called Points Off the Gross, which may, lets us earn 15,000 coins for every crushing blow or fatal blow we perform, but we're really focusing on the crushing blow. So without Johnny Cage's chintzy augment, you would have to choose whether you wanted to farm souls or hearts. But with Johnny Cage's Jinsei Augment, you are allowed to be able to farm both at the same time. And now you're probably wondering, okay, what, what about the hearts? Well, the hearts farm is pretty simple. This is how uh, heart farms usually go to the fact that hearts are really hard to farm. And once again, if you wanna know how to farm hearts, way quicker than this build make sure to go check out the video in the upper right hand corner of your screen it's much 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 better i promise you farming just hearts but the the two augments i use is perfect combat so this makes us earn 28 hearts for a flawless match and brutal hearts which gives us 20 hearts for each br brutality we perform and if you're wondering okay i don't really know how to use johnny cage how am i going to get perfect combat what i would recommend is if you break out of your infinite crushing blow combo, which I'll go over a little later, simply put on a consumable that stuns your opponent. So if you miss or you got your timing way off, you'll still be able to be protected. All you need to do is hit him with that consumable and then go right back into your infinite crushing blow combo. So you're probably saying, okay, but what is this infinite crushing blow combo you just talked about? And all it is, is a simple infinite uppercut. You're probably saying, an infinite uppercut well since johnny cage has a really really fast and easy uppercut you'll be able to indefinitely farm the uppercuts and you're probably saying what do i mean and prove it first by the gameplay you see that i get over a 500 hit streak with just the uppercut and the reason why is once again because he has a very fast and forgiving uppercut so even if your timing is off by a little bit you'll still be able to indefinitely farm them with your uppercut all you need to do is hold your down button and anytime you see it kind of break away from the uh, job busting animation up close just simply hit your uppercut button and you'll get it every single time and you're wondering okay well what brutality should i perform like i'm just now using johnny cage so the brutality i would recommend using is johnny cage's forward throw brutality the reason why i'd recommend this one is because he comes with that and you do not need to unlock it through towers of time all you need to do is grab them and then spam two buttons 
uh, while grabbing them and you'll get the easy uh, brutality. And what I'd recommend is waiting for the second round to timer to run out and then when they die simply just um mercy them and then you'll just be able to grab them basically one time you're probably saying how am i going to be able to grab them and deal over 200 damage with a single throw and the reason why is because we have a level four throwdown which basically increases the damage of our throws by 40 percent so you'll basically be able to one hit uh grab them and get that simple really easy brutality not only that but if you do mercy them and then hit them with that um, consumable and then you'll be able to grab them and obviously get the brutality that way if you want to be able to secure your uh, flawless victory and if you're wanting the abilities i use all i use is throwing shades and say cheese the reason why i use these is because they both come with crushing blows however all you're really doing is focusing on your uppercut because you're able to indefinitely farm that even if your timing is like a little bit off right so i wouldn't use ai behavior because your ai can't focus on one type of move and it will end up probably just killing your opponent so don't use your ai the last thing i want to go over is where to farm the set so you can no longer use augments inside of local fight and you'll need to use them inside of classic towers which is actually a really really good thing the reason why it's a good thing is because you're able to use consumables more importantly tower consumables which allows you to be able to double your hearts or your coins sadly there's nothing for doubling your souls however obviously if you want to earn 500,000 souls or uh 200 hearts you'll be able to get it just like that super super easy all you need to do is equip a full tower consumable for your classic towers and that's really all my build is i hope you guys like it if you know anybody can then find this video useful make sure to share with them and also if you want to see if you want more people to see this video make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below saying how much it worked for you and how much souls and uh well i guess souls really uh you were able to farm and i'll tell you and tell me if you did better than me i got twenty thousand. uh see how much you guys can do right so uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Johnny Cage.